all right guys the person who wants out here so today's video is about how to use your orimo health hub so this health app works for the orimo watch 2 pro and the orimo watch 2 i'm going to show you how you can use this orimo health app to its maximum potential without wasting much of your time let's get down to business all right the first thing i'll be sharing with you is the preview okay so at this place you can see this is just the first place you are going to get to once you connect your orimo watch 2 pro watch to your smartphone it applies to ios and android devices they are all the same the first thing here if you tap on this um, side of the app it's going to show you all these details your step calorie burn activities duration and distance so you can use that to check out every of your daily activities calendar so that is how to use this portion of the app you can toggle this and see your setup go and data declaration and stuff like that all right so that is the first one the second one is about the exercise so this exercise portion is just to show you the exercises you have done and the calories you have burned so if you tap on that it's going to show you your data here okay so let's go to the next one which says at rate so this at rate is where you see the details of your heart rate measurement so once you tap on it it's going to show you your heart rate data you can see histogram or cough chart if you want to change it as you can see the cough chart so it is very very easy to understand you are going to see your resting heart rate and your heart rate range all right so all these are there just for you to see how your heart health is and down here you can you can see the sleep duration here this is the sleep data when you select that it's going to show you your sleeping pattern so here you can see this sleep which is up here this bar and light sleep is the one that is you know light purple and your awake time is your yellow bars okay so this is very easy to understand just go through it you are going to see the way you are sleeping if you are sleeping well or you are not sleeping good so it's going to show you and tell you what to improve on so you can see that in weekly you can see that in monthly and every uh, settings and data are just there for you to go through so that is all on the preview page so when you select this option down here that looks like a shoe you are going to see your exercise page okay you have the outdoor run you have the outdoor cycling you have the outdoor walk so you can select that it's going to you know change it to that kind of exercise that you want and there once you select go it's going to ask for a gps location you go to set up and you can now turn on your location agree and select the back location here okay it's right in the hub now now you can start running and this is going to locate you and show you the distance you have covered so far as you can see our gps has been connected and it will show you your speed your pace your spot duration and calories you are born and every other thing so you can start running and this is going to get your information for you so once you are done you just press this pause option and it's going to say hold to stop and you select that and you can now confirm it and it's going to save your data for you okay. now let's go to the next option that shows the wristwatch symbol here which is the orimo watch 2 pro hub device page here you can see the connection this is where you connect your rimo watch and this is where you confirm if it is connected or not so here you can see recommendation if you tap on this it's going to take you to uh, the orimo.com page where you can see their information and other countries where you can shop from okay so that is not where we are going so let's go back and to the device page if you want to do anything this is where you start from okay you select this arrow here and it's going to show you the Orimo Watch 2 Pro proper page. Here you can do everything for this smartwatch. All right, so here you can see the details. Here is the dial center where you can change your dial watch faces. You can create, you can customize. If you have not watched the video on how to customize and you want to know, you can just check there up in the cards above. You are going to see how you can customize your Orimo watch face and here is where you get the dice informations or die watch faces that you have stored right so now let's go to the dial market this is all you are going to see there now let's move back and the next one here is the sync with phone notification this is 
where you have to permit the Orimo Watch 2 Pro app to send your messages on your smartphone to your watch. So here, when you select it, you have to sync it up here and turn this notification on. Once you enable it, it's going to help your device to receive notification of incoming call. And the next one is sync with phone messaging. So here, you have to enable it. If you don't enable it, it's not going to receive any notification on your phone to your watch. Okay, so once you toggle it on, you are going to see some drop down menus here where you can select or toggle on all this so that your phone will receive notifications and when you select this it's going to go to the more application notifications where you can select if you want to receive notifications from apps that are not included in the default list of the Orimo Watch 2 Pro. So you can just select anyone like this AliExpress is not on the list so I can toggle it on here and I'll start receiving notification from aliexpress and every other apps that are on my phone it, once i toggle it on like this banter uh, if i just select it this way i start to receive notification on my watch here if i select this also and if you are looking for youtube or something like that then you have to select youtube option here you have to select youtube studios option here on s club and other apps that are not included so that is all on how to receive notification on your Orimo Watch 2 Pro smartwatch using the Orimo Health app. Now let's go back and check other options. The Bluetooth call here also, you have to sync up your contact. You can sync up to 10 contacts so that you see their names when they are calling in. And here is to enable Bluetooth call and it's going to show you how to set up your Bluetooth calling feature of your Orimo Watch 2 Pro smartwatch. Now let's go back once again. As you can see, it is easy to use. Quick reply setting. This quick reply setting works like when you are in a meeting and you have a call in, you can just use this quick reply setting to send a message to the person that you are busy or sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I'm, I'm in a meeting, sweet out, I'll call you. You can customize it to anyone that you want. Uh, something like I'm in a meeting, please call back and you can just save it and it is going to be there. Okay, so you can use it as quick reply when somebody is calling you and you cannot pick up the call. So that is all on the quick reply setting. So now let's go to the spot else setting. Spot else setting, you can see it here. Uh, this is going to show you the step go, calorie go, activities time go, extended sitting reminder, water intake reminder. If you want this to work like this, sedentary reminder and this water intake, you can just enable this too. And if you want it to have automatic heart rate measurement, interval time you can select it and it to you know measuring your heart rate at that time interval that you set it to rme measurement type of sport and what auto recognition so let's go back once again and go to the other one alarm setting here at the alarm setting you can set your alarm so it is going to vibrate on your smartwatch maybe you are sleeping or you are somewhere you can just set your alarm to any time that you want by tapping on the plus icon and put your you know settings and that you know working immediately once you are done with the setting just make sure you tap on the save option up here and it will start you know working for you now let's go back to the next option which says weather setting this weather setting is just to sync up with your weather in your location and it will start working so if you have that toggle on like this it's going to start showing um, your location as you can see current region refresh successful lagos so right on my watch i'm going to see the weather forecast and weather details of lagos state let's go back to the other option like search for device search for device is just basically to search for your device when you you know misplace it so when you select that it's going to search for your device just tap on this search option and you can see right on our watch it is searching for it it vibrates and it starts ringing so once you are done that is how to locate it and that is all on the search for device option so the next option is work clock on the work clock option let's select that and you are going to see the work clock this is going to show you other countries time or their time zone so if you want to add more like in my case here you can see Amsterdam. that is the only country or the only city that i want to see their time if you want to add more you can come to this option here and select the plus option and it's going to show you other cities that you can pick their time or their time zone and you are going to be seeing their time on your 
smartphone or on your smartwatch okay so let's choose dublin or london let's choose london and now you can see london london is 11 40 same time with us here in lagos so once you are done just select save and it will be there and it will be showing on your smartwatch so that is all on the work clock and let's go to the next option that says music control under the music control you can use this to you know increase the watch yeah you can use the watch to increase your volume of your music you can use it to pause or play you can use it to view music information so once you toggle that on it will be very useful for you if you are using your phone and your Orimo free pause and you're watched all together if you have not watched the video i have a video on up here that you can check out the how to connect three devices together and this watch will be a very useful tool you know in controlling the music volume in controlling the music to skip backward or go forward or if you are watching video and you want to increase the volume and this is very very useful so you can toggle that on and let's go to the next option which says device language this is going to show you languages that are available for you to switch your orimo watch to pro into so if you are someone that understand german you can just select german and the watch is going to you know start working or showing you everything in german language so you have uh, your settings and every information as you can see information n that means in german i don't really know that but i'm going to select just match my phone system setting or i select english and everything will be in english all right so that is that and go to the widget setting so on this widget setting here as you can see it is showing all this uh, information on the smartwatch so if you want to edit all this icon as you can see here you can edit them maybe you want to replace this settings this setting option with uh, spot or heart rate or blood oxygen you have to just tap on this minus icon as you can see we have a spot there then you can now add your heart rate the heart rate has appeared there and once you are done with that you are satisfied you can just select save and it's going to show on your watch that it has been saved as you can see we have our art uh, measurement here okay that is how to use your widget so that widget is just basically for you to change it to any function that you want so you have to delete one of these four options here before you can put any other ones there okay so for me i would like my settings to be there or find my app or work clock which are some of the things that i really like to use the watch for so if you really want that just make sure you select one of them delete one hard one and save that is all on the widget settings on the user guide just does like the manual you can check out the manual here and it's going to show you the manual in case you lost your paper manual you can come here and you are going to see the manual here okay so that makes it handy you don't have to be looking for manual everywhere so that is that and here is the common problem maybe you are having issue with your orimo watch 2 pro here you can see how to do them here you can come here and select suggestion maybe you want to suggest uh you want an, an issue to be rectified you want something to be done in the orimo watch 2 pro like updates or software updates or something like that you can come here drop the problem description upload the image and submit then you can just send it and they are going to look into the matter all right so that is all on the common problem and the user guide page now the last one here that i'm going to be talking about is the health and feedback all right this health and feedback is just something like the one just showing you guys so let's just go back because it's just the same thing from the user guide all right so you still have more please so we still have um about this device this about the device is about the orimo watch so it's going to show you um the mac address and it's going to show you the version of your orimo watch 2 pro so as you can see you are on the latest version v1.4.7 all right so that is all on that and if you want to restart the device you can come here and it's going to reset your orimo device right from the phone so that is the usefulness of that um, option so here is the last one which is the unpair slash delete this is just basically going to help you to reset or factory reset your rhymo watch 
and the app is going to delete all the data from your Rymo Watch 2 Pro smartwatch and the Rymo Health app. So once you select that, you can see it says this will unpair and reset your device. Continue with the unpair. And once you select confirm, it's going to unpair your device, factory reset the app and the smartwatch. So that is all on our Orimo Health Hub. And here we have one more option here, which is human symbol here. Let's just select that. And here you are going to see your data. Okay, that is your profile data and stuff like that. I'm not logging, that is why you are seeing login here. If you are logging, you are going to see your name and other details here. Okay, so you got that and it's going to show you some nickname, gender, every other thing, stuff like that. Okay, you can do the setting if you want to. And over here, you can see app fact. So if you want to check that, that is frequently asked questions on issues, you can see everything here. Okay. So if you want to suggest, just like what I showed you in the video, you can come here and suggest also. And also if you want to check about this app, you can come here and see the privacy policy, the term of use, copyright information. And here you can clear the catch, maybe the information on this app, you can clear it off if you want to clear the catch, just select this clear catch and it's going to clear it. So in this occasion i don't want to clear mine so that is all on the orimo health app and if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section i'll be glad to reply you as soon as possible i mean baba and i'll see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now peace